Hello everyone, this is Hammertron here with a new animal figurine review for you. This time I am reviewing the Safari Limited Wild Safari Smilodon or Smilodon or some people say Sabertooth Tiger. This is set number 279729. This was first molded in 2004 and I had bought this in a store uh, sometime during 2018 or 2019 when I bought it it had a tag wrapped around his neck with this piece of plastic and here is the tag and here's the inside now I ripped it accidentally while opening it up so just some website information there and back here is some manufacturing information Let's take a look at the dimensions of this figurine. From the snout to the hind leg, it's about four and a half inches long or eleven and a half centimeters long. At the widest point, I think by the paws, it's about an inch and a half wide or about four centimeters wide. At the highest point, up to its head there. It's two and three quarter inches tall or about seven centimeters tall. So it's a nicely sized saber tooth tiger or Smilodon. I've always called it Smilodon but some people pronounce it as Smilodon. And it is a well, people do call it a saber-toothed tiger, although it's not really related to the tiger family. It does have some impressive saber teeth here, but it's a soft, pliable plastic, so we can bend them. Here's the manufacturing information on the belly, and on this figurine, it is labeled as a saber-toothed tiger, although the tag said smile done. So it is nicely uh, sculpted. There's fur texture all across the body. And I do like that painting on it. So with these stripes it makes people think it's related to tigers. Although we're not sure what they actually looked like. It does look pretty nice there. I do like the sculpting work around the uh, mouth here where we can see the saber teeth and the rest of it is sculpted and painted very nicely. And the eyes, however if we look at the eyes it looks like the pupils are looking in uh, slightly different directions. And they did a very nice job on this particular paw here where we have the claws sticking out. Although if we look carefully at the paw, they uh, dabbed some paint there. But this one just looks really nice here. Now when we stand this, all four paws are on the, on the surface. So I like to buy these in the store so I can test them to make sure that they're not wobbly and this is not wobbly. It's a nice little tail there. So I do like the pose of this Smilodon. Looks like it's ready to attack something and, and this paw out here on the side I think they just did an extra nice job sculpting this. It just looks really nice and it's very nicely sculpted there. The bottom to so the paws on the others are also sculpted. We have the the bumps for the pads. So I think it's a really nice little figurine. So thank you for watching my review video. Remember to like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with my future reviews. I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.